Hoops Graphics presents Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights 2012. Game 8. Porter travels to Bronco Stadium to battle the Dayton Broncos. Friday Night Lights is produced by Tubes Graphics. Tubes Graphics and the Dayton Broncos, a believing combination. On a spectacular Friday evening in October, the Dayton Broncos battle the Porter Spartans. Broncos kick off cells of the end zone for a touchback. The Spartans can't manage any offense on their first three offensive plays. The Spartans are forced to punt. The punt goes down the right side of the field. Jacarius Keeter picks up the ball, races to his right, and turns the corner. He's chased down, but the Broncos are in excellent field position. How many plays does it take the Dayton Broncos to score a touchdown? One. <laughs> Three. Three. The Dayton Broncos score an offensive touchdown in three plays and go up six to nothing. The extra point is up and good. The Broncos lead the Spartans six to nothing, but the scoreboard's broke and won't show it. The Spartans get the ball, have success, find a first down. On second and long, the quarterback goes back for a pass and connects for a long run. The Spartans have the ball in Bronco territory. The Spartans are forced into a fourth and long. The quarterback takes the ball, goes back, but is sacked by the Broncos, ending the scoring threat. The Broncos move the ball down the field but stall out. Caraco comes in for a 42-yard field goal, but it barely misses to the right. The next three Spartan offensive plays feature an incomplete pass. On second down, the quarterback goes back but is sacked by the Broncos. Forcing a third and long, the quarterback goes back and bounces off the helmet. It is complete, but the play is stopped short of a first down, forcing another Porter punt. The Broncos get the ball back. This pass, catch, and run to Jacarius Keener. Runs down the field and goes deep into Porter territory. The Broncos drive stalls out around the 20. Caraco comes in to kick a field goal, but it's blocked. It barely misses to the left. The Spartans get the ball after the incomplete field goal, but the run is stopped on first down. On second down, the Spartans try to run the ball again, but it's stopped. That was the last play of the first quarter, with the Broncos up 7-0. To start the second quarter, the Porter quarterback gets the ball, throws it, a completed pass, but an instantaneous tackle stops the Spartans and forces another Porter punt. Three plays later, Chambers takes the snap, runs to his left, and he cuts back up the middle. Whoop! He is gone! Mark Kane rambles into the end zone. Chambers touchdown puts the Broncos up 13 to 0. Bronco comes in for the extra point. It splits the uprights. The Broncos now take a 14 to 0 lead over the Spartans. The next three offensive plays by Porter feature an incomplete pass. A bone crushing tackle by the Broncos stuffs the run for a loss. Setting up third and long. The quarterback takes the ball, scrambles around, connects on a screen, but the run is stopped short of the first down, forcing another Porter punt. Two plays later, Chambers throws the screen to Jacarius Keener, who runs down the sideline and gets inside the 10 yard line. On third and long, the Broncos do a Jedi mind trick. The ball's thrown down the field and caught by Keeter for a touchdown. The Broncos score again in the second quarter. 
The extra point is good once again. The Broncos go up 21 to zero on the Spartans. Croco comes in for the kickoff and is instructed to kick it into the quarter. He kicks it and the ball nails the pylon. The next three offensive plays by Porter feature another bone crushing tackle by the Broncos, stopping the run for a loss. On second and long, the quarterback goes back to throw it. He runs to his right and throws an incomplete pass. On third and long, the quarterback takes a snap, throws it down the field, but the ball falls incomplete. This forces yet another Porter punt. Two plays later, Chambers goes back. He throws the ball down the field and it connects with Landon Tamman, who whoop, goes by, whoop, goes by two Spartan defenders, races down and is tripped up around the 10 yard line. Two plays later after an offensive pass interference, Chambers goes back and finds McBride wide open for a Bronco touchdown. The extra point is good again. The Broncos go up 28 to zero on the Spartans. And the Bronco band rejoices behind the cameraman. The Spartans get the ball, complete a pass and actually get a first down. Then they tried another pass, but the Spartan quarterback is sacked, forcing a third and long. On third and long, the Spartan quarterback surveys the field, takes a snap, but is sacked again by the Broncos, forcing yet another quarter punt. The Broncos get the ball with about 90 seconds left in the second quarter. Chambers goes back and connects with his brother for a good gain on first down. On the next play, Chambers takes the snap, rolls to his left, and does an excellent down and out route to Jacarius Keener. After two incomplete passes, the Broncos face a third and long. Chambers goes back and finds a wide open McBride for the fourth Bronco touchdown of the second quarter. The extra point is attempted and it is good. The Broncos go up 35 to nothing on the Spartans. The last play of the second quarter is fittingly a run stopped for a loss by the Bronco defense. The Broncos take the kickoff to start the third quarter. After a run stopped for a loss on first down, they face second and long. When Chambers connects with his brother, a crushing block by Landon Tamley clears the way. Isaiah Chambers races down the field and scores the touchdown. The Broncos quick score offense strikes again. Caraco comes in for his six point after attempt. It's good. The Broncos lead 42 to zero. Will the Spartan offense get on track in the third quarter? The first play is stopped for a loss. The second play is a quarterback sack. On third and long, the Spartans line up. They run the ball up the middle, but the run has stopped short of the original line of scrimmage. This forces yet another Porter punt. The Broncos get the ball after the punt. They face a third and long. Chambers takes the snap and connects with the screen. The run goes all the way down inside the 50 yard line. On the next play, Chambers takes the snap, goes back, throws it down the field and connects with Isaiah for another long pass completion. Three plays later, the Broncos take the snap, go back, the ball is complete at the three yard line. Two plays later, the Broncos third string running back comes in, hurdles a spark defender and rambles into the end zone. The Broncos score their seventh touchdown and go up 48 to nothing. The extra point makes it 49 to zero. Broncos over the Spartans. 
The Spartans offense gets the ball and mounts a drive. They get inside the Bronco 20-yard line. The quarterback goes back but is intercepted by the Broncos. The scoring threat is ended and the shutout is preserved. The Spartans force the eighth straight Bronco offense to put the ball. They come in on offense and complete a pass. On second and short, they try to run the ball, but it's stopped for a loss. On third and short, they try to run to the left, but again, the run is stopped for the loss, forcing another Porter punt. Both teams trade punts. The Broncos go into victory formation and drain the clock. The Broncos go to 8-0 of the 2012 season, winning 49-0. 19 4A scores from week six competition. Crosby, Scott, C. King, 24-0. The Kingwood Park Panthers find their winning ways over the Eagles 29-7. And Summer Creek pounds humble 49-5. After six weeks, the District 19-4A standings have Dayton and Summer Creek on top of the stack with Duke Caney and Porter at the bottom. Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights is produced by Tubes Graphics. Hoops graphics always believe.